Yes, sir. So I ran across this video in my recommended and I was like, yo, you know what? This is a good video to talk about real quick because so many brothers put themselves through so much bullshit all for the love of vagina. You already know what's worse than a toxic relationship, a toxic relationship to where the sex is great, borderline amazing. But it's only great, borderline amazing because it might just be the only piece of ass that you're getting. Too many dudes put the ass on the pedestal to where you got to do all of these obstacles, jump through hoops of fire just to get some vagina. Brothers got to do better and understand that, yes, vagina is great, but we got to understand that it's not the end all be all to where you're going to deal with bullshit from toxic females just because. I don't know why. That's just the way that they're made. But toxic females have great vagina. It is what it is. That's another story for another day. <laughs> so many brothers adding stress to their life, gray hairs to their beard, dealing with females, paying bills, buying flowers, arguments, leaving the house for the night, and drinking in the driveway before they go in <laughs> because they're dealing with a toxic female. Brothers got to understand that it's okay to not deal with a female for a little bit of time. Everybody's going to go through the dry spell. You do what you got to do, but when you're going to be dealing with bullshit, from toxic individuals in the love of sex, then you got to start questioning yourself, bro, questioning your values, questioning your sanity, your mental health. In today's world, we bring up mental health so much, right? So why add stress to your life just because you're trying to get your rocks off? Too many brothers do this shit on a day-to-day -day basis because we're used to chaos in the society. They tell you that chaos or dysfunction is functional, bro. You should be able to be strong enough to take a quote-unquote strong woman that's going to backfire, that's going to give you some lip, that's going to stress you the fuck out to where brothers is dropping dead, 55, heart attacks, <laughs> picking up overtime because they're doing anything to not go back home <laughs> dudes that you feel like are making enough money but they're picking up every overtime shift and <laughs> you're like yo ain't this dude married jumping into this video man we got this daytime talk show with a bunch of these bimbos except for adrian uh Bailone, i believe that's her name the cheetah girl in the top right corner we're gonna see what she's talking about but we got a bunch of middle-aged broads talking about teenager stuff gossip let's see what they're talking about you don't really need to have the whole buffet. You might just come for the crab legs. You are okay with crab oh legs. You don't need the soft serve. You don't need the biscuits. You just want the crab legs. No. Not toxic. Sounds like a good time. In a recent week, Medium.com op-ed. Uh-huh. <laughs> I saw an op-ed in Medium.com. The writer talked about the perils of amazing sex in a bad relationship. So, <laughs> the sex was so good that it was impossible to leave. We've all, I think, have been there. So ladies, I wanna ask you, have you ever been in a situation like that before? Let's spill Ooh, some tea. Yes. Come on, bring it on. Lonnie Love, stop the bullshit right now. Wasn't nobody popping your big ass. Not now, not ever, man. Even with this dude that you're dealing with right now, that old Caucasian director and whatnot, ain't nobody pleasing big Lonnie Love unless she was paying for a male gigolo. If you ain't been in one, you need to get one. Especially once you get 40. <laughs> Woo! Uh, damn, Look, it wasn't think, that memorable because I'm trying to remember it now. You're right. Mind you, Lonnie Love is 50 years old. Yes, Garcelle, no. I, We've all well, been there, yes, right? I agree with both Garcelle and Lonnie. Lonnie, yes, I think every woman should experience some amazing knock-your-pants-off type of sex that just blows your mind and doesn't make you come, like, think straight sometimes. But at the same time, Garcelle, <laughs> my question is, can you stay in that? I, I think we've all experienced it, but there's a reason why we talk about it in the past. You we can't really stay in a toxic relationship. No, you can't because... stay in it. You can't stay in it. Of course you can't stay in a toxic relationship. Brothers got to understand there's so many females out here and there's so much time that you got to work on yourself to where you might need some time to yourself till you jump in the deal with the next female. And especially in today's society, bro, to where nine out of ten females are damn near toxic, bro. And they know they're toxic and they claim to be toxic because of the music and all of the shit that they see that's encouraging them and putting the battery in their back. Why would brothers deal with that unless you're toxic yourself? Makes sense. 
It's no not a matter good idea. what, this is connected to this. This affects this. And the energy surrounding something that close to you will get to you here. So at some point, even when it's good, good, you gotta let go, go. You let go, go, See, but then I you might come I'm... back, back, back again. <laughs> Just a couple more times. Just See, a when couple I think more of toxic, times. When I think of toxic relationships, I think of men that like, have cheated on me or that I knew were <laughs> doing some whack things to me behind my back or didn't respect yeah. me. And maybe I'm crazy, but like that made the sex not dope to me. Like to me, the moment I knew you Girl. were shady, Girl. the moment I Girl. knew you didn't really want me like that, I literally was the type of trip person to know that like, oh, you messing with other people? I would be so sick to my stomach about it. That pretty much makes sense. There's there's a good amount of females that think just like that. They see dudes that want to be a quote unquote ladies man or whatever out here doing whatever the fuck they want to do. And that turns them off. Dudes don't understand that the things that they think are cool, the things that they think might catch a woman's attention might backfire against them. Especially all the rhetoric that you're hearing in these quote unquote red pill channels. You really got to decipher the information that you are receiving because then when you try to go out there and try to use that in the real world, it might backfire against you just because you heard it from a quote unquote coach on the Internet. And just that on and off again behavior to where you want to try to go ahead and experience some vagina or she wants to experience some penis just because she might be talking to somebody already. Somebody slid in her DMs. Micro cheating. That's what they call it. Falling asleep. She got the phone in her hand. Scrolling, scrolling, answering comments and things like that. All of that is toxic, bro. But the society is toxic. That's what happens when you have no culture, you have no guidelines. Everybody has to do the best they can to be in a functional relationship. Girl. Yeah, I'd be like, please let her girl. do it because I don't even want to do that girl. to you. Girl, girl. No, I swear. I don't, that's not, yeah, but that's not this situation. You know this what I'm talking like, about? At all. Yes, we Sometimes do know what you're talking about. Yes. Great. They don't know what you're talking about because they're a bunch of bimbos. I'm talking about the one in the top left and the one in the bottom right. Jeannie Mai, she's damn near a bimbo herself. But they don't understand you because they basically are talking about the sex saving a toxic relationship. It, it was a relationship that you already know is toxic, but you keep going back because the sex is good. Adrian's point is that... When people do shit that's toxic, that she basically doesn't even want to have sex with them. But they don't get that. Sometimes <laughs> great sex it. over peace of mind, great sex takes over. I mean, sometimes you just want to go back and get some. Yes. Especially when you ain't getting none. Especially when you're getting older and desperate, you're just going to be getting what you want to get. When you want to think that you're going to be a dying piece forever and then you start getting shriveled up, you're going to be accepting whatever wants to fuck with you. And then a bunch of people are going to just want to lay with you, not stay with you. Another and piece of cake, I think another piece of pie, another, you know. Yes. Ooh, 1986, I remember. Then, okay, Ooh. okay. Time out. Remember what I just said earlier. Lonnie Love is 50 years old. She just said, what, 1986? It's 2021 right now? Do the math. That's 35 years ago, bro. So she's talking about when she was 15 years. That's what she's thinking about right now. She's 50 years old. They talking about toxic relationships and the sex that was possibly keeping that relationship together. So she was 15 years old that she's referring to in 1986. And these are the individuals that are on daytime talk TV talking about relationships for the youth to hear. You got to be fucking kidding me. Lonnie Love, ain't nobody busting that down. 1986 was probably the last time that she was at a decent weight. No disrespect. Okay, then maybe, 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 maybe I'm reading too much into this. Maybe I'm thinking about dudes that I was in love with. Maybe I'm thinking of dudes that I was in yeah, love that's with. What yeah, were definitely that's what that's what <laughs> You can't fall in love, man. You just need the love. Falling in love is like a spell. That's why the relationship was toxic. Girls be like, are you in love with me? And dudes be like, yeah. <laughs> all for the love of some vagina bro come on man that's love what it at is all. and i could have sex yes, with them that's not a person and not care yeah that's not a person that's good for you that's what i need this is connected to that so it gets right. too close that's what we're talking about yeah but the other side we're talking about is what if it's somebody that you probably would never get with and you probably would never 
actually see as a serious person, but they're so good in bed that you just keep coming back for more. It's that type of situation. Yeah, it's like you're going to the buffet yeah, and you, you don't really need to have the whole buffet. You might just come for the crab leg. That pretty much sums it up. Do you want to spread your legs for a dude that you know is no good for you? Or do you want to keep it pushing and be a better woman? Like I said, these are the bozos that they put on daytime TV to talk to the youth about relationships. Lonnie Love Big Ass talking about a time in 1986 to where she was 14 to 15 years old talking about somebody was popping her ass. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> but can sex save a toxic relationship? The answer is hell no. On and off again relationships. Your girl, ex-girl knows when you're out. Calls you drunk. You guys have sex. You bust your nut. And then you wake up in the morning and you're like, what the fuck? You did it again. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. It's enough of that. I'm out.